Hello and welcome to our channel. Yes, I finally had time to color my hair. I love it. Um, anyway, I'm going to work with Meron's Sin Wax this time and you love it or you hate it, but I'm going to create a nice a wound above my eyebrows. So I tie my hair back. I take a lotion wipe to remove the makeup on that area and a pad cotton pad with some alcohol to remove the lotion and some skin oils so the prosate and the sin wax will stick better to my head so you need the sin wax of course and then your tools the spatulas I first going to mark out the area where I roughly want the wound to go doesn't have to be to be precise just an indication of where you want it to be then I take my prosade if I can open it alrighty 10 minutes later um, I take a q-tip and some prosade and I lay down a thin layer of glue I keep the center unglued because we want to create a skin flap later on. <clears throat> I really like my hair this color. Yeah. It looks orange on screen, but it's pink in real life. So I take some Vaseline and I take a blob and put it on my hand. And then I warm the wax in between my fingers and then I place it on the marked area and of course I am going to blend it into the skin so that gives me a little bit of time to tell you how I came to this look so most ap accidents happen around the house mainly by being not careful enough by do-it-yourself thing thingy so this look is a simulation of one of those unfortunate hammer incidents so imagine you have this nice picture and you want it to have it up onto your wall. So you take your nail and your hammer and darn that wall is so hard. So you hit harder. Oh no, the hammer bounces back right against your noddle or your head. So you scream and run to the mirror and you see that you have this nice juicy head wound. So that's my story behind it. In the meantime, I take some setting powder and a puff and a brush to remove a bit of the stickiness. Then I take the sharp edge of a spatula and dip it into the Vaseline and I am going to carve out the skin flap. And that's why I left the center free of the glue so you can make it so it will loosen up a bit better. So very carefully, I'm going to maneuver my spatula under the wax. Just take your time with this. Just wiggle it until you have a nice flappy wound. So then again, I'm going to take my setting powder for Mehron and carefully dust it off a bit like that and I got some in my eye way too much on my brush tap it <laughs> like that then I'm going to take my Mehron fixative A to seal the wax of course, the wax will stay sensitive to bumping and, you know, it's very fragile, but the fixative holds it in place a bit better. So I apply two thin layers, let it dry, and then I'm going to take one of my precious brushes from Titanic. And it's going to be... Oh, of course, um, my paints I'm going to use is the Ultimate Effects palette from Dashbow. And I take my stipple brush from Titanic, the 109. 
and I'm gonna lay down the bruising because you know you hit your head with a hammer so it's bound to be quite bruised and red and bloody so you build up the colors just in thin layers like I always do just stipple it on like that some red some blues it already starts to look painful just first around the wound I'll and I even use some yellow, a little bit of green. It's painful. Around the eye. Then I take my Titanic 102 brush, a small angled brush, and I start to fill in the details of the inside of the wound. I start off with black to create some depth depth sorry and then of course various variations of red from the blood palette from Angkor be careful with the skin flap that doesn't break off because it's still fragile you can also do this wound of course with a sculpt gel if you want to go out with it and party all night long I wouldn't recommend it with the wax, but hey, it's cool for a video and for photos. Try to get in all the little corners. Like that. And I know it looks quite square, the wound most hammers around but you also have these little hammers that don't have the claw those are square so that's what I used so I'll go back in with my stipple brush the 109 and create some more irritation and I, this time I'm using blood tones as well what else can I do mm. Ah, uh, mascara, of course, because, you know, if you hit your head like that, you're, I think you will cry. So I'm going to put on some mascara, non-waterproof, of course, some water, and I take a Q-tip and I'm going to make my mascara run down my cheeks like I've cried. Just smudge it around your eyes. <laughs> now it really looks like I've been crying. Now I'll take my makeup blood gel too, the light version. And I'm going to fill in the wound to make it nice and juicy. Hold the skin flap again so it doesn't break off. Feel around. All right, now I take my favorite bloods, the dashboard drying bloods. It's the ox blood and the dark blood. And I take a brush to apply it. My skin flap is moving down because of the the warmth of the lights then I take my favorite other favorite blood it's the age blood from mold life I love the color can you see it to make it more runny and I take a lotion wipe to smudge it I take a stipple sponge to smudge it even my fingers I dilute it a little bit aged blood with some water to make it drip a bit better and there you can see that I'm struggling with the skin flap it keeps on falling down but you know this is it 
So see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.